Joshua, let me start with you. Why do we have these injunctions if things like that, like we've seen uh, in Parliament, the name can just pop out there? Well, it's not what's meant to happen. Mm. Uh, the courts wanted this name to be kept secret so they could decide what was in the public interest. Peter Haynes said it was in the public interest to disclose it, and that means there's really no point in having the court case anymore. Absolutely, though, because that means very much that the court will, is technically lost its power. It has, yes, exactly. And, and that's something that concerns the judges. The Lord Chief Justice of England and Wales said only last month he was very anxious about uh, members of Parliament who use parliamentary privilege or abuse parliamentary privilege to do this. It underlines confidence in the judiciary and underlines public confidence Absolutely. in the rule of law. Um, do you think super injunctions and injunctions are being used too frequently? Super injunctions are being used much less. These are the ones which we don't know about at all. We're not even allowed to say they happen. Well, because was... there is a difference. Isn't there is there, a between an injunction and a super yes. injunction. This one was an injunction, and very interestingly, the Court of Appeal told us a lot about it, explained the background to it in a judgment that was published earlier this week. It didn't, of course, name the businessman, let alone the people who made the complaints. Uh, these things have a habit of backfiring. Often we get to know the individual who's taken out the court case, sometimes we don't. Mm. Absolutely. And is it fair to say that rich and powerful men? tend to use injunctions more than women? I think that probably is the reality, uh, because there are probably more rich and powerful men than rich and powerful women. Uh, or is it that just the men make the <laughs> heinous mistakes and the women are a lot... There we go. Also, <laughs> also, <laughs> that's um, also <laughs> true. I'm yeah. sure that's true. <laughs> yes, they do. Um, now, uh, but as I say, they sometimes backfire. Um, yes, we live in an, uh, a world that's not equal. Some people are richer than others, some people have access to advice. But at the heart of this are complaints by ordinary members of staff, we assume, who were working for this businessman, who had difficulties, who complained and who were paid compensation without the need to pay for a lawyer. They got money uh, to compensate them for what happened to them, and they're not rich and powerful. Uh, do you know what? I want to bring Helen in here. Mm. Helen, obviously, we know each other. You won Big Brother a few years ago. And, and for me, doing my job as well, I had to be fully across, obviously, your case. The person that you had an encounter with, obviously, had an injunction in place, but you didn't, and you were named in the media. So where do you stand on the whole injunction and super-injunction cases? I'm in two minds with it all, believe it or not. I kind of... I completely understand why people take injunctions out. But here's where I stand with it. If you've made a mistake, and whether you've got a pound in the bank or whether you've got 50 million in the bank, why is it OK for someone's family to be torn apart but not the other? Why can one be protected and not the other? And I have to stress, from my instance, the injunction was taken out and I was basically hoodwinked with the whole situation. The person who took the injunction out didn't actually need to take the injunction out because I never had an in intention of selling a story. Mm. Because of who he had representing him as well, he kind of fell into a trap and ended up getting a nice big payout because of this. And the only person who ended up getting scalded because of it all was me. And this really And that's not fair because family. that's twice mm. that's happened. So the first time round, which I'm pretty sure we all know about, um, I was happy to go along with everything and lie and, you know, basically not tell the truth about a lot of things to save me from being outed to the public. All I wanted was an injunction. That's all I wanted. But you, you couldn't afford and it. And I couldn't afford it. Mm. I didn't have 50 grand. And because I didn't have that kind of money, and then the, the you know, it's, it all boils down to the judge saying, um, you know, is it in His the public life interest? Is worth more yeah. than your life, I but suppose. But the, the public, I, I do understand, like, it, should the public find out about these things? Is it in the public's interest? Is it in the public's interest if a man's kind of done something sexual behind his wife's back? I don't think it is. I think the thing is, is I, when I, it comes really down don't to think celebrity... It is, especially when they don't... Like, it's just interesting it's, it's and salacious. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody but it's not in the public's interest. I think we can all yeah. agree on that. Yeah. It's mm. definitely not. No. Um, and at the time, it was kind of like, well, because she's got no money and because she's done this and she's done that... You know, we'll just, so, we'll just well, no. leave so you it. Feel like when you're... all along, I didn't want it to come out, but no. I couldn't stop it. So how's that fair? You said, you said about money. Sorry, man. Yeah. You said about money. Josh, is, is that how much it, an injunction costs? Is it £50,000? Uh, it can cost a very great deal of money. Mm. You can't get legal aid for most things. You certainly can't get legal aid for that sort of thing. It does cost money. And, of course, you have 
to have the law on your side. An injunction is just a court order. You have to have a legal basis for it, which in this case is a breach of a, a, a confidentiality agreement, a breach of confidence. So if you've got the law on your side, and if you've got the money to pay for lawyers, you can do things. If you can't afford lawyers, well, you are stuck. I think it's so unfair there is definitely... that they can pick and choose. I think it's so unfair how people... It's kind of... It's, it's a case of picking and choosing who, you know, whose life gets ruined and whose doesn't. Well, how exactly. can you do that? Whose it shouldn't be one important. rule for one. Yeah. 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 How can you... You can't do that. That's totally unfair. And there was a huge impact on your life. Yeah, and your massively. Family. I know you have massively. a son. Massively. I'm how still did he known deal as... With it? Well, that's what I mean. Like, these people who I've dealt with, like, you, they had families. But why was it all right for mine to kind of be turned upside down because I didn't have millions in the bank? And That's I think it's important fair. to say for you as well, you just said it then, you had no intention I had of no going intention. to the press and selling a no. story. I mean, but some people do, yeah. and we exactly. do have to look at it from the other and side as well. Hardest, some people the do hardest do that. thing is when people Distrust. are people turning around saying, well, you're, you had an intention of ruining someone's life, you wanted to sell a story. I have to live with that for the rest of my life, and that's what, that's what annoys me, because to get tarred with something like that... Yeah isn't great when that's not the case. No. Helen, can I ask you, <laughs> do you think it'll make you reassess who you date? Who I date? Yeah. Well, I don't date anyone. That was, <laughs> this, this is why. This is why, because men I'm are... I'm thinking, do, no, do you like your next nice bloke up the road? No, because of when I, well, the I, mean, I, don't, I don't mind saying this. Like, obviously, I was, I, was, I was working at the time when I did both of these things. Yeah. Um, but since those days... Um, I'm literally like a nun, so <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be all right. Let's do a high five then. <laughs> Joshua, very quickly, because we, we do have to wrap up on this, but are injunctions here to stay? Are they going to be a thing that are always going to be there or will something come in at some point where they go, you know what, if you've they done the crime, if you like, we should all know they about it. Uh, they're, they're here to stay. I think people are going to look very closely at yeah. what Lord Hayne did, uh, but certainly they hold the ring until a court can make a decision and that's an important thing. Well, thank Absolutely. you so much Thanks both for joining you. us well this done. morning. Thank it's lovely you. to see you, Helen.